Hi, we're, we're with um, Jeff Nichols and Francie Marilla from uh, the, the Biggest Loser. Was it season 14? Season 14. Season 14. We're at CrossFit Mokina. Uh, I'm doing my first ever interview, so bear with me on this one. But uh, uh, just get a chance. They, we just got done with an event. They, they spoke to a lot of our members as well as a lot of other people from the public. And we, we had a great reception today. I think they inspired and moved a lot of people and, and actually I think they got a lot of people to want to try CrossFit today too, which is really the, the best thing here. So uh, we're going to get started with Jeff and Francie. I just uh, have you guys just tell us a little bit about your background you know, before the show, where are you from, who were you before the show, stuff like that. And then uh, tell us a little bit about your experience on the show, just um, encapsulate that entire time frame in a, in a short little phrase for us. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, before the show, I was 388 pounds. I was upset. I was just kind of miserable with the person that I had let myself become and I knew that I needed to make a change and I stumbled upon you know the biggest loser and realized that it was a show that gave people a vehicle to help change their lives and you know I figured that everything else I had tried in the past hadn't worked so why not you know go out on a limb and uh, try to try to make it on the show and get my life changed and that's what I did so uh, you know since the show I've try to remain in health, remain in fitness, and try to help others and encourage others and just pay forward the, the opportunity that I was given to uh, help others be better versions of themselves. You know, I was getting ready to apply to medical school and I sort of just felt like a hypocrite because I wanted to be a doctor but I wasn't really, you know, about health or fitness and that's when I decided to go on and lose weight on my own and I did. I lost close to 100 pounds on my own. Then I sort of hit a plateau, couldn't lose any more weight and that's when I decided to uh, go on The Biggest Loser and I lost so much I lost some more weight there and I met this one over here and you know like Jeff said we're just about paying it forward and being involved in in a community that supports this message of you know paying it forward and getting everybody active and uh, that's why we're here at CrossFit Mokina we have found that this is the box for all fitness levels and it's just been amazing for us yeah I, I, one thing that really struck me when you guys were talking to the to the group this afternoon was um, when you were telling people what you did on the show, it sounded like an extreme amount of cardio. And here we do, obviously there's cardio, but we in CrossFit we mix everything, every modality we possibly can into one workout, um, including we have you guys on the barbells, on the pull-up bars. Um, do uh, explain to people who'd be watching this, your experience doing something CrossFit style versus the insane amount of cardio that you were doing on the show. What do you what do you see as advantages versus disadvantages of, of both of those? If you could? I I had a lot of experience <clears throat> with CrossFit when I was on the show. Um, I worked with Bob, who is very very into CrossFit. Some of his best friends are CrossFit Games athletes, and he himself has even signed up for the games this year. Uh, but a lot of the cardio we did with Bob was the rower. Uh, you know, he's really big into the rower because it's not bad on your knees because his theory behind it is he wants you to lift weight. He wants you to be strong. He wants you to hit all your lifts. And if you're pounding three, 400 pounds on a treadmill against your knees, you're never going to be able to do that. But unfortunately with the tight time constraints that we were on with the show, there also had to be a lot of jogging, a lot of running and a lot of cardio. So I think if you want to lose weight and do it really, really fast and you know, then cardio is the thing that you want to do. At least you want to do primarily cardio, but if you want to have a well-balanced physical fitness level, then I think CrossFit is imperative because it's mixing fast-paced movements, it's mixing a lot of weights, it's mixing cardio, it's mixing everything to give you a healthy, sustainable weight loss. You're gonna build muscle, which over time is going to burn that fat. It's not gonna be drastically super, super, super quick results, when it comes to weight loss, but you will see the tone, you will see your physique, you will see your endurance build, you'll, you'll see so many more factors than just weight loss because at the end of the day, health and fitness isn't just about weight loss, it's about setting goals and achieving those goals. Um, yeah, I, I appreciate that. That's you know, what, what you had told me earlier in, in that group that you, you were doing five to six hours of cardio some day that just absolutely blew me away. Um, for those of you watching, they've, they've actually been working out here at CrossFit Mokina for, um, well, since September, actually. I remember their first workout was the 9-11 WOD, and we really appreciate you guys here coming out doing things like this for us. It's, it's just been a lot of fun. Um, that's all I have. Is there anything you guys would like to finish off? There's somebody sitting at home watching this on YouTube, and they, uh, 
are thinking about trying CrossFit, any gym, if not even CrossFit Mokina, just any CrossFit gym in general, what would you say to them to get them uh, through the doors of a CrossFit box? Um, I, I like to think of CrossFit and your home box, your home location as you would consider a doctor. Now, you might go see 10 doctors before you find one that you're comfortable with, and that's the same with the CrossFit gym. Don't rule out CrossFit if you have a bad experience at one location. Try several locations because chances are your first class is gonna be free anyways. And at the end of the day, support is the only way to keep with health and fitness. I have my support system in her and with all the people at CrossFit Mokina. So I think it's imperative that you find the place that fits for you. I agree, like Jeff says, you know, consistency is everything. You want a box that you can keep going to. and. CrossFit Mokina has been that box for us. I've never felt more comfortable uh, in any box than I do in this one. And it's amazing to see all the different fitness levels and all the people, you know, trying to do things that they never even imagined they can do. So uh, I hope you guys come and join us and maybe you'll even get a workout with us. All right, thanks for watching. Thank you very much, oh, you guys. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, yeah, thank you very much. Come on out.